the TBWS Daily in Stereo. Ladies and gentlemen, drink your coffee and smoke them if you got them. This is another episode of your TBWS Daily Show, and I'm your host, Brian Steven. <laughs> Do you find that as annoying as I do? Listen, the feds have begun an investigation on MERS and lender processing services. <laughs> <laughs> well, the funny thing is, maybe it's not so funny. They're just beginning their investigation. They are just beginning their investigation. The thing is, the bank regulation at a federal level has a $1.2 billion budget. Wow! Us, on the other hand, we're not as generously funded, but... We did have the dirt on these screwballs months ago. Yeah! Either they're getting paid too much money, or we're getting paid too little, Frank. Either way, they could have just come to us. Save the investigation. Lender Processing Services is the company that creates fake documents, mm. forged signatures, mm. falsified notaries, mm. backdates loan documents mm. so that banks and servicers can re or newly create missing vital oh, documents to proceed with foreclosures. Allegedly. Yeah, and in case you missed that, Lender Processing Services is a company that creates fake documents, forged signatures, falsifies notaries and backdates loan documents so banks and servicers can re or newly create missing vital documents to proceed with foreclosures. Allegedly. I mean, that's about as dirty and dishonest as Charlie Ringle and his ethics violation hearing on Capitol. That's about as dirty and dishonest anytime Charlie opens his mouth. That's, uh, that's Charlie. Yeah, and we'll just remind you, he got busted for using his congressional position in goods to build a center at New York University in his name. Of course. And for using rent control departments for campaign activities. Yeah, and for not reporting rental income from his villa in the Dominican. <laughs> that's Charlie. In the Dominican. This is truly priceless here, and it also gives great insight to why we're so cynical about everybody up on the hill. Frank, cue it up. Yeah, that's right. Congressman Charlie said in his testimony where he's defending these allegations was a catch-22 for him. Damned if you do, damned if you right. don't. Right, he said, see, first of all, if I testify and tell the truth, I'm screwed. Yes. Uh-huh, yeah. And then secondly, well, if I lie, then I'm screwed and busted for perjury. It's perjury in this case because they already have him on videotape, Frank, admitting all of this. Listen, Charlie. <laughs> Being screwed either way in your case, it, it's not a catch-22. No. It's being caught being a cheat and a liar. <laughs> Back to the business at hand. Yeah. The feds are also beginning an investigation on MERS. Oh. Now, once again, if they were to have just asked us, we would have shown them that video right over there. And since you all are loyal TBWS viewers, we won't rehash old material. But if you work for the feds, check out the video over there. It'll save you time and money on your investigation. Part of that $1.26 billion. Mm -hmm. Servicers, Bank of America Corporation, Chase, HSBC, MetLife, PNC, Wells Fargo, U.S. Bank, and Ringo Starr himself, City, are all having site exams done on their foreclosure procedures. By the way, City is reviewing 14,000 foreclosure oh, affidavits. Fine. Finally, and only under active investigation does our little darling Ringo Starr come to the table and begin to look at their foreclosure activity. Hey. Better late than never, Ringo. Just got an email from a guy that's not in the mortgage or real estate industry says, hey, will your video marketing roundup work for my business? And I say, absolutely it will. If you're a small business of any kind where you influence people in any way, video marketing roundup will be able to translate into that business no matter what. If you and your personality is a component of the business that you represent and the products that you represent, video is going to help you out. And if you don't have any ideas about what you could do on videos, don't trip on it because after each day's event, we're gonna have breakout sessions and brainstorm this stuff. So listen, if you're not from Texas, Texas, don't worry about it. Texas wants you anyway. Texas, yeah, that's right.